The digestive system starts in the mouth, and the roof of the mouth technically is called the palate. The palate has got two regions. It's got a region that has bone underneath it. This region is called the hard palate, and then it's got this region, the roof of the mouth, that is soft, it has no bone under it. It is called the soft palate. The very end of the soft palate is called the uvula. From the mouth, the oral cavity, food is going to go down the pharynx. And from the pharynx, it's going to travel down the esophagus. We can see the esophagus here inside of the mediastinum when we remove the heart. From the esophagus, food is going to go through the diaphragm and into the stomach. You can see the stomach here. The stomach has got different regions. The stomach has got this bubble area that is called the fundus. Most of the stomach is called the body. And this exit area is called the pyloric antrum. There are ridges inside of the stomach that allow the stomach to fill with a lot, like when Thanksgiving dinner. These ridges are called rugae. The rugae are the ridges. Now, from the stomach, food is going to go into the small intestine, and the first part of the small intestine is called the duodenum or the duodenum. To get from the stomach into the duodenum, you need to go through this exit door, which is called the pyloric sphincter or pyloric valve. So from here, we are in the first part of the small intestine, which is called the duodenum. And it's in the duodenum that the pancreas would be adding in its digestive juices. Also, sitting in about this area, you see this very large reddish brown structure. This is the liver. The liver has several lobes. For AP120, you need to know the left lobe and the large lobe, which is the right lobe. Left lobe, right lobe. If you look at the underside of the liver, you will see a bright green structure. This is a bag that's full of bright green liquid, and this is the gall bladder, and that liquid is called bile. The bile will also be added to the duodenum or duodenum. The three parts of the small intestine in order are the duodenum followed by the il jejunum followed by the ileum. The last part of the small intestine you can see right here, this is the last part of the ileum. The ileum is going to join the large intestine right here and you can see another valve. This valve is between the ileum and this dead end street pouch structure called the cecum. So the valve is called the ileocecal valve. This is the ileocecal valve. If I put this back on, I can get a better idea of what it would look like um, from the inside. The last part of the endosium and the beginning of the large intestine and his pouch is called the cecum. If you look down finger here, you'll see a finger-like structure is coming off of the cecum. That is the appendix.